everybody, Greg with Drifter Journey coming from the future again because I didn't shoot an intro for this video. Um, as always, we appreciate you watching. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment. In this video, we are going to be removing the flooring that came in the ProMaster. That uh, was the $500 upcharge floor. Turns out we were able to reuse it, so that is good. We were also able to use it as a template, which turned out to be good. So in this video, you hear us saying some not so great things about the product, uh, which we probably still wouldn't get it in the future, but it's a toss up because it was a good template. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoy watching this. If you have any questions, let us know. Next up will be peeling out the side panels in the wall and then installing a new floor. All right, the next thing I'm going to be working on is pulling out the D-rings that are on the floor and then I'm going to hope that this whole flooring isn't stuck down with strong adhesive and then it just lifts out nicely. Uh, one positive thing about this floor being in here already, although it was I think $500 upgrade that we didn't necessarily need, but it's going to make a really good template for us to uh, do our, our insulation and our next floor. So I guess that's one plus of having it. Uh, so yeah, let's see how easily this thing comes out of here. Okay, moment of truth. Does it just lift up easily or is it attached? It's attached. All right, so I'm gonna have to feel, figure out how to pry this off without doing a bunch of damage. Uh, one other thing I don't think I mentioned, it was a T40 Torx bit to remove the D-rings, which we will save, um, possibly use again later. And another thing to note is where the D-rings were, they're threaded in. Uh, but those go all the way through to the outside world on some of them. So for whichever ones we don't end up using, we're going to go ahead and want to make sure we seal these up. So we'll figure that out later. Uh, we might use some of them still, so I won't do anything yet. Next up, we'll use a crowbar to pop this off with cardboard to not scratch stuff up. See how easy this goes. Just hold on. I'm over here now. I'm not scared of this, so I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I mean, so worst I, case I, do, I don't want to break the floor because I want to use it for a template. Ooh, that's not promising. Nice. I also yeah. don't want to smash my fingers. Try in the middle here. Looks like it's got a I think it's, yeah. I think it's on every... Okay. Every top piece. So then you just have to keep moving. We don't know what we're doing, but we're just going to keep going. We read that it's just glued down. So all we're trying to do is get it removed from the Unglued. adhesive. Unglued. So we can pull it off in one piece. Oh, this corner is pretty tight though. Mm. We're just gonna keep doing that for a bit. So we got a good start. We're gonna try and just both of us lift it a little bit uh, evenly to not break it. Yeah. Also, this is a uh, lesson in relationships. You may see us yell at each other at some point. <laughs> you probably will. <laughs> but we're gonna try not to swear. We're gonna try not to hurt ourselves, and we're gonna try not to get divorced. Traditionally, we don't do projects well together, so. You've been warned. <laughs> this corner's really tight for some reason. Extra glue. There it goes. Yeah, so I think. Section's half the wheel well. Yeah, because that's. Okay. Oh, that was a clearance 
Thank you. Uh, so uh, much. It snapped in one part. It snapped? Well, ripped, oh. ripped a piece off. Whatever, that's not, that's not a big deal. Okay, one thing to note over here, this part's thin. So you're going to want to make sure you get further under there so you don't just bend this rail down. So I'm going to try and get down all the way to the actual band floor. If we do end up with any scratched up metal, I'll probably use a Rust-Oleum or something like that to cover it back up just so it doesn't rust over time. too shabby actually well guys that wraps up day one which was remove the floor and peel glue for three hours uh, if you have the option definitely don't buy it with the floor in it we didn't have to do that last time and taking out the glue is kind of pain in the butt uh, peels up some paint with it sometimes um, sometimes you scratch it trying to get it started. It was kind of just tiring in general.
So. Not ideal. But it is a nice floor if you want to keep it in and don't care that there's no insulation. Yeah, that's true. So. And we're also talking about maybe using that as... Um, like a middle layer. A mid layer. Because we're going to do cork. Then we were doing ply. And then uh, the, you know, the vinyl flooring. Um, but it might become the mid layer. So still more to come on that. We will figure that out in the next video most likely. Thanks again for watching. We are Drifter Journey. What else you guys say? Nothing. Thanks for watching. Our hands are raw. Yeah. We need oh, gloves. <laughs> next video should be sound editing. Mm. And we did that on our van last time. And I don't know if we're the only ones that complain about it, but I really hated it and I'm not looking forward to it. So um, we're going to do more this time, but might be a pain. So we'll see.